And so um, I used to take him down to the lake. He, he loved listening to the water, all that stuff. So we'd go walk down to the lake. Um, I'd put things on his wall so he always remembered who he was. We ma- made all these custom photos and stuff for him. This is, you probably can't see it, but all of that stuff on his wall is pictures of him doing something he loved, like hunting, fishing. And I would always tell him, Zeke, look at that. That's you. You're not like this. Your hand is not curled up. Your hand is going to be straight. You're going to be able to grab a fishing rod. You're going to be able to grab your French fries. You're going to be able to, and I would just tell him that all the time. At night, I would pray over him. I would speak to his heart. I would speak to his brain as if, as if me and his brain were friends. I would tell it what to do. I would tell it, you are alive. You be, you, 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 you know, you, you beat strong. You are strong. And I would talk to it. Um, and you might think that's weird, but it's what I used to do. I used to do it within the confines of my faith. But um, lo and behold, uh, as time went on, another year and a half later, Zeke miraculously straightened out. His hand straightened out. He could feed himself. He started walking. We got to do a lot of other crazy. It was like completely a miracle. Um, even the doctors, like the, the head neuro guy, his name's Dr. McDonald in downtown Dallas um, at Children's. He's the head of all neuro in, in the DFW area. He wanted to be our client, and he said, this is the reason I've done this for 35 years, so I can see one of these cases. He goes, I've always heard this. I've never seen it. 